Hello everyone. Let us talk about menorrhagia today. Menorrhagia denotes cyclic regular bleeding which is excessive in amount or duration. In simple words, it means excessive menstrual bleeding. The normal menstrual blood loss is 50 to 80 ml and does not exceed more than 100 ml. But in menorrhagia, there is blood loss more than 80 ml. The menstrual cycle is more or less unaltered, but the duration and quantity of menstrual blood are increased. The causes of menorrhagia are classified into general diseases, localized pelvic pathologies, endocrine disorders, and iatrogenic causes. Let us go through each of them in detail. In general diseases, blood dyscrasias could be one of the major causes of menorrhagia. This includes leukemia, coagulopathy, thrombocytopenic purpura, and severe anemia. Coagulation disorders like von Willebrand's disease are seen in about 20% adolescents. So von Willebrand disease is a blood disorder in which one of the proteins required for blood clotting, the von Willebrand factor is low in level or does not work the way it should. In general diseases, thyroid dysfunction is another major cause. Both hypo and hyperthyroidism cause menorrhagia in the initial stages. Tuberculosis may cause menorrhagia initially, but in advanced stages, amenorrhea occurs. Next we have is the localized pelvic pathologies, beginning with the uterine causes that includes uterine fibroids, polyp, adenomyosis, and endometrial hyperplasia. The ovarian causes of menorrhagia include PCOD, that is polycystic ovarian disease, chocolate ovarian cyst, endometriosis, and ovarian feminizing tumors. Other causes include uterine arteriovenous fistula, salpingoophoritis, pelvic inflammatory disease, genital tuberculosis, or varicose veins in the pelvis. Now comes the iatrogenic causes, which means the causes related to any kind of medications or treatment. Some of the medicines causing menorrhagia include progesterone-only contraceptive pill, chemotherapy agents, anticoagulants, or hypothalamic suppressant drugs. Another very important cause is intrauterine contraceptive device. About 5 to 10 percent of women wearing the device suffer from menorrhagia in the first few months. Treating the bleeding may require removal of the device from your uterus and choosing another birth control method. The endocrine causes of menorrhagia include adrenal gland dysfunction, pituitary tumors, anovulatory cycles, obesity, etc. Do consider to like, share and subscribe to the channel if the topic was useful to you. Follow me on Instagram for more such helpful medical topics. Thank you.